Uh, I guess you still need the code. Sorry, I just got confused. I was like, oh my gosh, I can just buy a two by one table, but I don't have money until I do the dupe. Not this. Oh, come on. Got excited for a moment, thought I could avoid codes.
miss something. Gotta love the horizontal slope. Not a commonly seen acre. It's uncommon enough that it's confused me completely. Okay, here we are. I think that was three. Oh, I don't need to go left. I wonder where my fishing acre is.
I feel like I'm on the best side of this lake. Yeah, I have to be. There's no way the other side's better. And yet, we're deficient. Oh, I see it. I didn't see it. Oh. It's looking like an eel. Never mind. It was a small one. <laughs> always takes me a little bit to get dialed into what am I looking at right now.
Maybe this lake acre isn't good for fishing. Where's the bridge? Left? Look at the shot. Yeah, no chance. It's way too far. Oh, maybe that did work. I think I'm, eh. If that worked, it only worked because this fish was on the far side of the, it was on the left side of the lake. Well, I mean, left side of the lake's the only part I can't reach, so I, I might have full coverage of this lake. That was a small, huh? Getting dialed in, getting dialed in. This is small too, isn't it? I keep thinking smalls are mediums. All right, I got it, I got it. I know the difference now. That's a large. It's a large bass. Or not. Just an extra blind. One of those. Yeah, I like this lake. I'm a fan. Especially with the bridge next to it that I can cross without despawning fish. That's a small, isn't it? Oh no, it's a medium. Yep, yep, yep. a good one. Okay, I need eel still from the mediums. And that looks like an eel. Alright. I could try for brook trout in the lake, but I don't think I want to. They're less common this month, aren't they? Than the one after. Yeah, 15% next month, 5% this month. No reason to go for mediums after I get an eel. Oh, I see it. I don't think that's a big enough fish for me to care about. I don't see it at all.
Maybe I ran? I'm gonna start being picky with this lake. Cause I don't need everyone anymore. I'm gonna start being pickier. Not just catching random fish in the lake for no reason. But I should also be refreshing through lake acre or river acres, not random house place. There we go. What do I still need? I'm gonna try... Um, yeah, I'll try this acre. Hold on here, I'm gonna take a peek up. Way too far distance to refresh over. Yeah, the train station's not an option. It's uh, not a good acre for fishing. But I still need not any time uh, smalls. Not anything in the lake. It's eel and catfish. How about this acre? Not a good one. No. Huh. This one? This might be my best acre, it's the one below the lake. It's kind of unfortunate, it's not that good. I think this is my best fishing acre. I don't like that. The train station is terrible though. Like, usually if I don't have like a really good fish acre, I'll go up to that. Um, up to like the train station. Not the train station, but the highest point in the river. Alright, this will probably be the eel. Yeah, that thing's blind as a bat. Oh. Did I get a large bass earlier? Really? No, I, I thought I did because of the way it was acting, but it wasn't. I keep getting tricked. Every fish in the game is blind. <laughs> it's also unfortunate that the acre above the potential fishing spot is the lake. Like, I feel like most of my refreshes will be upwards and into the lake, and that's not as good as having a... Yeah, this is definitely my best fishing acre is right here. This corner. It's actually not terrible. Especially because it leads into this corner, which has a small amount of uh, spawn locations for fish. This actually isn't as bad as I thought. Alright, now I'm a fan. Alright, all that's left is eel. Get it quickly, please. Let's not get two arowanas. Too good vision. All right, I actually do have a good fishing acre. That's good. Oh. Okay. I've brainstormed the change the date forward strat. Cause eel are way more likely at uh past nine. Too good vision again. 
But I've never actually done it. I mean, bass are only three times as likely as eel. For every three bass, you should get an eel. So, like, it's not that terrible. That's why I don't ever do it. But I did just get another bass. Oh, no. Hmm... Come on, Neil, don't do that. Don't be rarer than Arowana. And I even got Brook Trout already from looking for an eel. I've gotten every other medium. Well, I mean, I didn't get Dace, but I don't. I'd be mad if I got Dace, because that's less likely than eel. So is two Arowanas. Oh. It's a large, isn't it? Oh, it could be koi. I imagine. Imagine get a koi here as well. Ugh, I don't want to catch this. Equal chances of brook trout. Yeah, way too good vision. Wow, this would have been a good split, man. Stupid eel. I mean, this happens, though. This is not the first good July in my life I've had ruined by eel. It's not that uncommon. But this looks like one. It's probably gonna be bass. Yeah, definitely bass. <laughs> Fan of this fishing anchor, and that makes everything better, though. Uh, yeah, you're not one either. As soon as I do get a dace, I'm gonna stop even reeling in these ones with 20-20 vision. If it's not blind as all poop, I'm gonna not catch it. I'm just gonna reel in early. So large, isn't it? It's hard to tell. No, it's just medium. Maybe? Yeah. Well, this is actually gonna be like an eight minute eel after catching two arowanas. I love this video game. If this is the weakness of this fishing acre. Imagine if that was angelfish and I caught it. I think it was either angelfish or piranha, the way it jumped off the line. Classic E+. Plus. No. You have too good vision, I don't want you. No, you don't have good to... Yeah, you look nice and dumb. Oh yeah. That's a dumb old eel.
Did I pay that? Oh, I wasn't supposed to drop all. I was supposed to drop only three. Shoot. Did that screw up my bell count for later? Wait, how many was I supposed to drop? Drop three? Uh, audio seems good. Cool, cool. Did you know that... I don't even want to try to meme. Amazon. There, bam. That's a meme. Yeah, my bell count is incorrect. It should be like 990. Because I... I dropped all bell bags instead of just three. Oh well. See if it screws up my pockets later. If it does, I can just throw bell bags into mail. It's not the biggest is issue. That's a new one. Reading comprehension. Drop three bell bags, immediately drops all. Okay, I've got Arapaima. That's good, I think my PB also has Aeropyma here, so I'm even with my PB in terms of fish count. Not doing uh, coelacanth here. It shouldn't matter. Yeah, okay. I think my I think my money is fine because it should just be the same as it is always right now. Come on, let's menu. Yeah, two one nine is yeah. It it sorted itself out. As long as I don't have any bell bags in my pockets, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So no coelacanth because the bite window is so tight that I only ever catch coelacanth if it's a five biter. I just won't be grinding for coelacanth if I'm somehow over by the ocean, which I shouldn't ever be this split. Then I can I can try to catch the first seal. You know, honestly, 
Giving Coelacanth one shot is probably optimal. Don't save and quit over and over for it. Because the spawn chance is like 6% now and 25% later, so. But I probably, it would probably be optimal to work my way that way and shoot for the first Coelacanth I see. But not save, quit, and grind for it now. It's better to get later. Okay, Brook Trout. Nope. I already have it. Oh wait, no, it's the wrong time of day for that. Wow, okay. Alright. I'll change that plan. I don't need any larges, but I do need a medium. No, I don't. I don't need large, medium. I only need smallest tinies in the river. In the lake. Whatever. Smallest tinies in the lake. That's a bluegill or a piranha, but it's a bluegill. Small as tiny as the lake. You're another bluegill or piranha? No. Neither. You might be right. Or you might be a Christian Carp, who knows. And small bass are so weird. They f it feels like they have eight different <laughs> vision windows that alternate randomly. I mean, they don't actually, but sometimes they're like so blind. And sometimes they have such good vision. Just strange. I'm getting a lot of these 360 degree. I'm still wrong. <laughs> that also felt like a piranha slash bluegillish movement. Like that seems like a really long range. Oh wow. Piranha and Arapaima already. Well that's nice. Well this is why we get these this is the route's actually good. And this isn't even a route change that I made. <laughs> this is just the way we play Animal Crossing fishing. There's such good routing, honestly. Gives you, it gives you the perfect blend of you get a chance to get things early mixed with don't try to get things at times that are suboptimal because then you're wasting time. It's like a really good blend. to despawn it. Earlier I was having no issues preventing despawns. Okay, that's gotta be another piranha or some shit. Two piranhas, two arapaima run? Yeah. Imagine. Or no, it's not two arapaimas. I caught two arowanas. Howdy, Pixel. How's it going? I already caught piranha and arapaima, so, uh... The September split is going to be coelacanth only, really. Yo, let's go. Okay, what am I looking for here? Only tinies and the giant snake kid. Oh, and Pilcho. Yeah, I caught two arowanas while looking for an eel. I had the thing that you said happen where, hey, if you eel is your last fish, do you just move ahead in time? And I said, eh, no. And then I just caught two arowanas, and it's like, oh. Eventually the eel came out, but I didn't want to. Seven minute January is 
Did you get koi early, or did you get both koi and stringfish during January? I mean, that could happen, but koi early, yeah. Koi early will make that happen. Come on, don't despawn. Thank you. There it is. All right, tinies and giant snake at only. Was that your first uh, completed run? Sub three and a first rod run's nice. I don't think I got that. Look at this nice fishing acre. This is a good one. I'm happy with this fishing acre. It's right next to another bend in the river if you look at the town map and it's two tiny acres and I can just flip them over each other and it's really, really, really good. So this is gonna be a fast run just by nature of I can roll fish incredibly quickly on this map. Just gotta get out of the lake. I hate runs like this where it's like, man, I've got good fishing acres. If only I could use them. Like, I hate that. I don't even know where the hell it is. We're just gonna say I ran and scared it off somehow. Yeah, like this acre to this acre is some nice stuff. That's some good town uh, laying out thing. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I got Piranha and Arapaima already, so Coelacanth only, but Coelacanth, I don't think I've talked much about E-plus differences with you. They made Coelacanth terrible. Uh, okay. Oh, how's my waterfall? I'm going to take a peek at the waterfall. It's one of these really big overhangs. Yeah, this is like the god waterfall as well. Yeah, this is a really good town for everything except, honestly, the fishing, the, 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 the lake acre is really good too because I can reach all of it without having to like wait for things. Uh, the only problem with this, this fishing acre is the stupid tree. If, it, if, this was, if this was axe and, like if this was a net and rod run where I had an axe in my pocket, I would chop that tree every day of the week. Get that out of here. Yeah, I like my river. I like, I like my lake, which I'm now done with. I like my lake, I like my river, I like my waterfall. Haven't been down to the ocean yet. I'm sure it's fine. One biter. One biters always give me <laughs> high blood pressure. Alright. Time for time for where this run comes alive. Fast tinies because of good lake. Ah, uh, but I mean, this is the reason why I don't like this acre, is because it's got a really big bend. Yeah, I caught brook trout while looking for eel. I caught brook trout and a second arowana while eel was my only fish left in uh, July. It's like, oh my god, just give me an eel, please. I considered changing time forward, but but like the second most common medium other than eel, the second most common is at 15%. Like I should catch three bass and then an eel. You know what I mean? That's what made me not change time because it just doesn't seem worth it. Eel is 5% and the only other medium that's common is at 15%. Like you're going like eel should not be rare enough that if it's your last fish you change time zones. That's I do that for loach because loach is 3% and then it becomes like 30. I'll do that. I'm not doing it for eel. Yeah, I caught arowana in the lake in this run, and then I caught it again in the river. Yeah, I don't like this bend, but, uh, oh god. This, are, are those villagers' houses there? Are they going to be in my way this whole run? They probably are. 
Eel. <laughs> reset. Just reset always. It's always the answer. I already have kill a fish, so please don't be one of those. Hmm. The choice of verbal communication. It's a choice, you know? I don't have to say things. Especially I don't have to say things like that. Yeah, I don't personally reset runs where I get super early Arowana and Piranha and Arapaima all back to back just because Eel takes the 10 minutes. I'll take a 10 minute Eel. It golded anyway. It golded by like 3 seconds. Should have golded by more. Finished July at 45. Dang. That's actually not terrible. Well, I guess, sorry, I'm comparing it to E+, and E+, has... Well, actually, I don't know. Because E+, has no chores. And I'm spreading out all debts across the whole run. I don't know how good a 45. That sounds pretty good. To me? Yeah, kinda. Like, not like good good, but good enough. 30 minute. Actually, I guess a 30 minute, a 30 minute, I would consider that bad. I'd consider like 20 to 25 average for like, Arowana takes a year. That's a small. Oh, you got Angel, oh, and, and Coelacanth, that's good. Man, I wish I could just fish Coelacanth in this game. Have I talked about Coelacanth in this game yet? I don't know if I've talked about it. They changed it and they made it bad. I only catch Coelacanth in September because I need the 25% <laughs> encounter rate because I have to catch it 9,000 times. But they made it terrible. Okay, so here's Coelacanth. Wow, three killifish. Oh, in my route PB, my route PB was a sick split. The thing I'm comparing is, it was a good split. I liked it. And then I caught five guppies and four goldfish before I got a Popeye. And I was mad. Like it was a good split and I caught five guppies. And four goldfish. So let's hope that doesn't happen again here. Yeah, that's why my, my split should have ended like here in my PB. It should have been over. And instead, it just kept going. 10 minutes of just tinies. Uh, I don't like this tree either. Yeah, that one biter. It's hard to react when it's behind a tree. All right, just Popeye. Okay, so differences with E+, plus are they, they tightened up all the timing windows to make the fishing harder. Um, um, two goldfish in January? Yeah, I mean, that's really the only tiny. Goldfish are at 2% in September. That's when I usually get them. If I don't, like, if I don't get a goldfish here, I don't stay here. I go to, I go to September because goldfish is 2% instead of 1% and it's the only tiny, I think. Maybe there's killifish, but I think killifish is a 1%. So it's gonna be goldfish 50% of the time and it's a higher chance than any other month ever. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll happen. Goldfish feels like it comes out more than killifish even though killifish is like the, you know, one you can catch in ponds and junk. Actually, I think I think my route PB needed kill a fish in the pond because I got to the end of the like last segment where it would make any sense to catch a kill a fish and I didn't have one and it was like the last fish I needed so I went to a pond for it. It's 1%, but it's 30% in the ponds. You'll catch a whole lot of frogs looking for it though. Like kill a fish is tiny and frog is tiny and frog is like 60% of the tinies and Killifish is like the other third. Uh, 
I hate trees. I'm happy about it though, because I'd rather catch everything else <laughs> other than a killer fish. I don't like, you know, you don't want to catch a killer fish in this segment. I've already got two in this segment, oops. It's always Popeye, I swear. It's been so long since Popeye was not my last split fish of the split. I always get Guppy first. I don't know if I've ever gotten <laughs> Popeye last or early or something. It's always Popeye. And it always, I always catch like four or three goldfish and three or four guppies. Never wants to play nice. This is honestly one of my least favorite splits. Like, I always say that angelfish is the worst fish in the game, and it is. But this one's not that much better. You get your hopes up because it's a one in four chance every time you get a tiny and then it's just not the one you want. It's just never, never Popeye. Oh, come on. I came so close to pressing A on the first bite. Like, so close. I think my finger, like, half pushed down the A button when it snapped onto the... If you want, um, talk to Nook. Okay. I'm gonna when I world record for sure. Yeah, there isn't one. I've posted I've posted PBs there before. No, I've posted only world records there. I guess it's kind of different. But yeah, I mean, go for it. Most most speedrunning communities don't have a PB channel. Kind of a newish thing. I haven't seen it more than the last couple years. World records are PBs. Yeah, I know, but I just mean I, I don't post every PB I get. I now thinking harder about it, I post every time I get a world record. Pretty much never outside of that. All right, well, this is a gold. That's nice. Popeye didn't go so terrible. And I've got a frickin' Piranha and Arapaima. So, okay, I I was in the middle of explaining why E-plus is a bad game. Um, so in Animal Crossing, there are two fish with the tightest uh, catch windows, being Coelacanth and Barred Knifejaw. Those two are the tightest uh, catch windows in the game. With Coelacanth, uh, if you do it in September, you get an 11% chance at it, and, um... 11% chance, and y you go through them pretty quick. If you miss the coelacanth, it's fine. In Barred Knife Jaw, you can also get in September, because in Animal Crossing, they took out sea bass during September to give room for salmon. But that means if you aren't at the river mouth, then it's like... 30% Barred Knife Jaw, 60% Red Snapper. It's like insane. It's really good. So Barred Knife Jaw is not that bad, even though... Oh yeah, you have to be a runner. So submit your run and get the runner roll, and then you can... Yeah. So the two, the two tightest reaction windows in Animal Crossing aren't that bad because Bard Knife Draw is like free. It's one in three when you're out in the uh, ocean in September. Um, they took out sea bass. Everything's good there. Fish first and waterfall. Got it, got it, got it. Um, but in this game, well, first off is, I need to think a bit. Yeah, Rainbow Trout. I need Rainbow Trout. In this game, there is sea bass in in September. And all the E plus exclusive ocean fish too. So Bard Knife Jaw in September is like a 1%. I think that might be it. It had such good vision. Dang, just Christian Carp again. 
I was like, holy shit, first try angelfish in the waterfall acre? Happened before, but... So, Bard Knife Jar is at 1% instead of 30%. You just really can't get it in September. And also, they tightened all the catch windows. So... For me, personally, I tazzed it, and I tested how long are the windows for... They added a E-plus exclusive fish to the island, the uh, swordfish. Yeah, this, this is a beautiful waterfall. You can catch fish on the river at the top. You can cast all the way off the cliff. This is like the ideal acre for this split. Yeah, it does not get better than this. And my river is really good and the lake was good. I'm, I've got really good RNG on town generation for fishing. My whole fishing checklist is checked. I mean, this is a little bit annoying, but if I was on the ground, I wouldn't be able to catch this. Hell no, it's, it's way up in the corner. Anyway, they tightened the window and I tazzed it. To just to see how tight did they make it. And um, so part of the fishing window is always before the visual. That's what makes just looking and saying, oh, it's like an eight frame window, that's not too bad. Well, four of those frames are before the bite. Um, so for the tightest window, the, um, tightest window being, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to talk and play at the same time. It's not going well. Coelacanth, the, uh, E-plus exclusive swordfish and bar knife jaw, right? It's 166 milliseconds. And that's faster than my reaction time and any benchmark test. I, I've like... I, I've never once caught any of those fish on reaction. Any of those three. I don't catch them on reaction. I catch them by waiting for them to bite five times and then pressing A. So for me and my reaction time, my reflexes aren't good enough. It's a one in five chance that it'll bite the times that I predict. And otherwise, I don't catch it. And look at that, they tightened every window. I don't miss fish in Animal Crossing. I miss fish every once in a while and eat plus. Just randomly. Usually the rare ones have tighter bite windows. So that was probably angelfish gone because of B+. The fish I'm looking for is blind as a bat in this waterfall acre. So this definitely could be it. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Done with waterfall. Anyway, um, so 166 milliseconds. I can't react to that. I've tried it. My react, like I've tested my reflexes. I, I've never once caught the fish on reaction. It's a prediction for me. Wow, this is a terrible pond. Oh my god, I didn't realize how bad it was. So for me, barred knife jaw, which is again reduced to a one percent chance, is uncatchable for me unless I, um, unless I predict it. And part of that is why I routed in now. I routed in Bard Knife Jaw into, uh, into just into this segment because in this segment, Bard Knife Jaw is um, six percent. It's still way lower than the thirty percent in Animal Crossing GameCube. Like this is the most percent you can get out of it is this split six percent. And I need that extra percent because one out of every five Bard Knife Jaws I can't catch. Just I can't. And same for coelacanth. So coelacanth, uh, I catch them one in five. But it's not just that coelacanth I catch one out of every five. They made it so that coelacanth can only be caught once per play session. And what that means is if you miss the coelacanth catch, you have to save and quit and then reload same day. You don't have to change the clock, but you have to do a save and quit in order to get a second coelacanth to spawn. So that's why I never catch coelacanth outside of September in this specific category, because I catch them one in five. I need the highest percent because, because in, like I know that that wasn't it because I caught it on reaction. I caught, I reacted to the fourth bite. I know that's not barred knife jaw. I've never caught a barred knife jaw on reaction in this game. It's a large, like all these. When I, 
When I do this, oh, this is probably all of Flander. So blind. Yeah. Um. So, every time I do the coelacanth split, I walk down to the beach. It's a 25% chance, so it's not that bad if you do it in September and get rain in September. So if I get rain early, I don't go for coelacanth. I do it in every other category but this one. Please. No. Um, so I walk down to the beach. It's one in... It's it's 25% chance. It's pretty much always sitting there waiting for you. Either that or the next Daker over has it. And then I fail to catch it four times. I walk back to my house, save and quit. That's why I only ever do it in September. Because I cannot be wasting my time with like a 6% coelacanth every time I fail it. This is not able to climb up the cliffs. Okay. There's Octopus. So I got all of Finder, Octopus, and Bard Knife Jaw. That's like perf- or I didn't get Bard Knife Jaw shit. <laughs> it's just Octopus and Olive here are good. Means it less thinking later. No, I need Bard Knife Jaw. Yeah, I haven't even seen one yet. I'll know it's there when it jumps off the hook and doesn't let me catch it. But yeah. So, honestly, the fact of the bigger bite window, people make a big deal about swordfish, but swordfish is not that bad. Uh, sure, it's a 1% fish, but you can acre flip really, really fast if you do snowball glitch and you're walking on the water. You can acre flip insanely fast out on the water, and uh, the, uh, the fact that they spawn out of bounds and are uncatchable doesn't matter if you're, if you're, acre, if you're uh, doing snowball glitch, which is also why I do snowball glitch. <coughs> So the high, the uncatchable window on swordfish doesn't matter. Uh, nearly as much as barred knife jaw, where I have to awkwardly insert it in here into the May split or whatever split I'm in. Yeah, May. I have to catch barred knife jaw now. It's terrible. Uh, but if I don't do it here, it's seven. It's le It's like one percent. And I need to roll it. I need to get Bard Knife Drop five times in order to actually catch it on average. So I need that 6%. And same goes for Coelacanth. I need to do it in July. So yeah. Um, the whole E plus changing things really comes out in the... Some of just the random, like, no problem Animal Crossing... Animal Crossing GameCube. Bard Knife Jaw? Yeah, it's one in three. Coelacanth? You get it in September? It's 11%. It's not a big deal. Uh, Seahorse? I already caught one. Yeah, so there's my rant about Coelacanth and how it's bad in this game. They, they, made, they made Coelacanth into the worst fish in the game. Uh by making it require a save and quit and just have almost unreactable. It's unreactable for me. Some people have done it. Like the person who has world record. All right, that's enough mediums. I've caught all the mediums I want. I caught all the larges I want. Caught the tiny I want. So it's just Bart Knife Shaw I'm fishing for now. <coughs> I don't really know why I uh, was fishing for mediums in the first place. After squid, I should have stopped. You're, go you're probably going to get horse mackerel while getting puffer fish on the island. Just a waste of time. So yes, that's where we're at. Need a large fish. Haven't seen one yet. And I'll know I've got it when it does not get caught and it just flies away the second I... It comes near the line. Six percent. Except I need to get that six percent five times in a row. Yeah, that was it. That was totally it. All right. Well, there's my first bar knife jaw. I don't think so. It feels the same. It's just uh, catches that should work just fly away. 
Like, that thing rockets itself off the line. It does not stay on, <laughs> like, at all. I'd be interested in seeing, uh, re like, looking at my input display and seeing how many frames it took me to press it. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm gonna end up losing time before I even get Bard Knife Char. At least I have Char, but I don't have Angelfish. That's, I think, why my PB is good, is my PB got Angelfish in July. Okay, that fish is gonna, that mosquito's got me. I'm pretty sure PB did July Angelfish, and that's why it's a good split. Okay, I don't know what that was. I need to keep my finger completely off the A button um, when doing these these ones, because like, I will never react on time for the first press. Yeah, it would be weird, but it would be something. I don't need my finger on the A button. Because that was it. That was totally it. Just because sometimes I'll freak out and press A the second it snaps onto the line. Everybody does that. You watch anyone play this game and they do it sometimes. But I can't do that for Bard Knife Draw because I'm literally not trying to catch it first bite. Like, I, if it's a one-biter, I'm just never going to get it, and that's okay. So I should just keep my finger away from the A button. Until I get to, like, bite three or four. Yeah, that was it again. Wow, three. That was two in a row, I think. Like, that would have caught any other fish in the game. That reaction. Even, even with my finger far away, like, where it was, I think that still would have caught, like, anything. <laughs> There's like a timing to it. I'm used to the timing of like the four frames they hang on your line and disappear. Like I can I can tell that by sight what fish it is. I know what only being on the line for four frames looks like. I don't remember how many frames it is. It's whatever 166 milliseconds is in divided by 60 something. I mean, the input display has a delay, but so does my capture card. I wonder if it would sync relatively. Like, what is 1 60th of a second in decimal? And then whatever, how many, however many multiples that is. I kind of like to know the frame number. I forget it. I just have it written down as 166. Yeah, it is. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it definitely is. I mean, it makes sense that it's a 60 FPS game. 10 frames. Is it really? Well, that sounds reactable. 10 frames sounds doable. But 166 milliseconds does not sound doable. Let me look at my notes again. Yeah, I'm already losing a ton of time to PB from this stupid bar knife jaw. They really, they really, honestly, I've said it before. Like last time I ran this game, I said, of all the things E plus added, they made bar knife jaw the hardest fish to catch in the game. Now my route PB spent 50 minutes on coelacanth, so I shouldn't agree with past me, but it feels like it when I'm trying to catch it now. It's like, God, why did they make coelacanth? They, they added a ton of fish to make it less common by a lot, and then they made it uncatchable on reaction. Yikes. Not fun. Hundred sixty six milliseconds, yep. Ten frames between first visual splash and last A press flame frame. And I guess it is a ten frame window. Feels like less. Uh, they made the window smaller for every fish in the game. They they moved they they are like tiers of 
reaction time and they they just were like yeah all the fish are going to stay within their same tiers we're just going to make every tier yeah uh, like that uh, two frames faster it's like okay Ten frames sounds like so much, but uh, 166 milliseconds does not sound like a lot. So, I guess that's where it comes in. I'll probably catch a barred knife jaw in the island segment too somehow. <laughs> no, I mean that doesn't really happen. You don't you don't catch you don't really catch barred knife jaws out there unless you spend a long time looking for them. And I've already got every large fish. A large ocean fish except it. I mean I got red snapper just a moment ago. Yeah, they, they like basically made this a 1% fish. It feels like they added another 1% fish to the game and it's Bart Knife Jaw. At least with my reaction time window. Uh, okay. Yeah, the current world record holder of this category has caught fish of this window on reaction. I think in, in his PB he gets like uh, maybe two of them. Two out of the three. No, that's not the fastest. That's the low end of average. I looked it up. Human reaction time is on average between 1.5 and 0.3. So it's just in the realm of upper average, I think. Angelfish better come fast with all this bullshit. I mean, that's just what I looked up earlier today when I was pondering these same issues. Could be wrong. I feel like if you look up fastest human reaction time, you might get a better result. Maybe that wasn't average human reaction time, that was just human reaction time in general, 1.5 to 0.3. But I think it said average on it. I wonder if I'm gonna have to move to CRT for this this category only. Like I'm playing on a an HD setup that doesn't add lag. Maybe it adds like 10 milliseconds of lag. But even if it added 10 milliseconds of lag, like let's say my setup adds 10 milliseconds of lag. My fastest reaction time ever is point, is point 0.2. <laughs> it would have to be adding almost a half second of lag for me to, or not half second, point 0.2 to, eh. Still, I'm, I'm quite a ways off, even if it's adding a little tiny bit of lag. I don't think CRT would make it better. It says the average reaction time is point 0.215, the average being point 0.101. Past 0.22, yeah. I peak around 0.2, and I'm usually more like in the 0.25. So I my reaction time is quite slow compared to what you need to catch these things on reaction. And the fish that are one tier less, like angelfish, I've caught them on reaction in this game plenty of times. And that's like two extra frames, I think. It's like a 12 frame window, and that's easy. Whoa, I tried to reel in just to recast, and it snapped to the line, and I got the, like, you know, uh, 
early window where you press it within four frames of it touching your line and it catches anyway. Imagine if that was barred knife jaw. Task catching a barred knife jaw from a million miles away. That would have been sick. Oh wow, I'm starting to be behind behind. Ugh. I don't like this split. Predict first bite. Predicting first bite is harder than predicting fifth because the timing of it is so random. Fish can snap to your line from various distances and it can be quite surprising. If you predict fifth, it'll always be the same. It's really easy to catch, catch a five biter if you're just waiting for the fifth bite. Like, way easier than any other timing. Maybe there's something more optimal. Like, I don't know. I. I Is five bite uncommon? I think they're all the same commonness. But is there like a world where three is the most common times a fish bites in this game? If that's true, then then I'm definitely playing so optimally here. That was it. All gone. If like two or three is more common. And then there's trying to get a two biter and if you miss late, you could hit the early part of the third window. Wow, two in a row? You could hit the early part of the third window and catch it anyway? Like, it might actually be bad to go for five. Going for something like four might be optimal because... Uh, you can get the fifth bite in. Like, if, you're, if your four button press is late, it could count as a, fit, as a bite number five or something. It's just, if you do one or two, those can happen so unpredictably. You don't want to predict one or two. Three, I could see. Four, definitely manageable. And you get the bonus. Maybe I'll try four biters from now on. Last by 24 seconds. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. If you plan on playing again, no reason to submit. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna click on the fourth bite. Well, maybe there's something also where Oh, I don't know. You see, that's what happens when you try to click on the fourth bite. You just press A early. I don't like that. I don't like that. And I could have been a five biter and it would have been fine. I'm just not going to change things up mid round. I might look into optimal. Optimal. Try to optimize my guess for biting. Ugh. So stupid. I hate this. I've spent 20 minutes looking for barred knife jaw. Stupid E plus, man. Why did they make barred knife jaw go from being a freebie to worse than a 1%? It's like, became the worst fish in the game somehow. And Coelacanth is right behind it. Okay, hello. Yikes. The game owes me an angelfish fast. Char. I'm not nearly done with the month. I have angelfish, worst fish in the game, actual worst fish in the game is still left. I did lose 50 minutes to Coelacanth, so don't worry. But I could lose 50 minutes to Coelacanth again. It's just the exact same thing I just did that spent 20 minutes on. It's the same thing. Except with, uh, you know, saving quits after every missed fish. 
Ugh. Yeah, you need a good waterfall acre to get it quickly. And I got one this time, which is nice. I'm on the wrong side of the river. Too good vision. Yeah, so I still need large bass. And I still need rainbow trout and dace. So one large, two mediums, and a side of fries. Loach, cherry salmon, angelfish. Lots of fish left. And now I can just play the game again. Like now that I'm out of Bard Nightjaw, have to be a five biter land, I can just like actually play the video game. It's really crazy, that concept that, um, that you're like allowed to play the video game sometimes. Split what 25 seconds early? Yeah, time travel back, change when you split, and you won't get caught. How would they know? How would they ever know? Yeah, this split was good in my PB because I had Angelfish early and just caught Bard Knife Draw really fast. No more larges. Still need mediums, smalls, and tinies. Uh, that's a cherry salmon. Good, good, good. Top 20, let's go. Are there really that few rod runs? Okay, I have every small except angelfish. Interesting. Would have figured there's more. All right, and there's my tiny. I've got all the tinies. I've got all the smalls except angelfish. I've got all the larges. Medium only needs, oh, dace and rainbow trout, huh? I don't know what that was. Brain blip. That might've been a medium actually. No, it probably wasn't, it's probably a large. Hey, at least my August split has the potential to be really good with salmon. Salmon, jellyfish, coelacanth being my only split, only fish. All right, now I'm done with everything except angelfish. Yeah, I have three fish to catch in the August thing and my August split is, um, look at how long it is. It's an, it's 50 minutes. Why am I catching this? Hello? Could have been a koi. Oh, I still need dace. Shoot. I mean, technically I could do dace in January if like this was an angelfish. Maybe. 
I don't know. No, they, 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 that's a weird request. Just submit and beat it. That's not an angel fish. You, sir, are too blind. Oh, I need crawfish. God, I'm forgetting all the little weird stuff. Yeah, I still need one more pond fish. I'll get that while I'm running around doing nook junk. Though I guess my only really good pond is museum. Dang, I should've gotten that on the way up from the ocean. That's a large, isn't it? Dace. That's cherry salmon, right? Oh my god, one biter fucking angelfish behind a tree. Hello? E plus, why are you doing this to me? Gotta love the E plus one biters. They are absolutely terrible. That had to be an angel fish. My reaction time was good enough for anything else. If the stupid tree wasn't blocking my way, I might have had a chance of knowing it was coming and being able to react fast enough. Ah, whatever. Oh, there it is. Hey. I still need days. God, do I do January days? Uh, January days sucks. All right, I'm gonna walk to the nearest pond and look for mediums. Hope for a medium. <laughs> oh wow, this pond is, it certainly exists. I don't think I can fish here. I think my pond is just, Well, it's the same fish. It's just the E plus has some differences in the ocean. Alright. Alright, Dace. Dace January. Oh, it's just scrolled off screen. It's it's there, it exists. How bad is Dace in January? I forget. 10%? What the hell? 10% and the only other fish is bass at 2%? Is that for real? All right, I'm changing my route notes. You should get days in January every time. What the hell? Why not? Literally, what reason is there to not get days in January? Okay. Um, I scrolled my notes all the way down to figure that out. Okay. Selling things. Got it, got it. Yeah, Dace is, they should definitely be in January. Why on earth did my notes say to get it here? 10% and it's the only common medium. That's obviously the split you get it in. We'll need to make note of that later. Right, pick up a bell bag in Nooks. Also, I actually went out and looked at the route, or sorry, I looked at the, like, I looked into the percents for August in case you get there early, like if you set a really early time, what should you fish for? And I figured that stuff out. Like, what size fish should, do you cast at if you've got a minute to kill? Just... You certainly can if you want to. It's a personal decision.
I won't stop you. All right, here's the big split. Look at these two by two tables, two by one tables. They're everywhere, man. I had a two by one table in my uh, in my town at the beginning of this run, and I thought about buying it, and I realized I had no money until I did duplication. And I was like, this is so stupid. I can't buy the two by one table without any money. In normal runs, you just sell your clothes and the stuff you got from chores, but you don't do chores in this run. That's not actually an option. All right, here's the big split. 30, uh, 47 minute split, and I have three fish to catch. Because I got so many fish early this run. Sell some fish, you have to catch the fish first. And I'm not catching fish till I start the duplication and, you know, get the rod. Doesn't actually make sense. The rod isn't gotten until the second day because you mail order it. Because you can't get a rod in stores until you've bought or sold enough things to know. Can't get rod. And I don't want to use rod for, co I don't want to use code for rods. It's definitely faster to use. Um, catalog because I'm already using the catalog to buy four stereos. You can't enter more than three Nook codes in a day. So you definitely want to um, see so you're already you have to use the catalog to get the four stereos and while you're at it you just use the catalog to get the rods. So you can't catch fish in the first split. Okie dokie. Okay, this way. It's not such a rush when I set it to 57. I think this town might not be able to do jellyfish in 58 just because of how long a run it is to the ocean. Yeah, maybe it could have. Just not comfortably. Coelacanth, salmon, two fish. Uh, tinies, no mediums. Yeah, okay, now I've got my notes up. Yes, fish for bigs, because of koi and barbel steed. But mainly koi. Might as well give a koi a shot while you're waiting. That's a large bass. It has no vision. Thank you for the hype, Hannah. That's very appreciated. It's a very hype moment. Everyone said hype out loud when it happened. I already have piranha, so I don't need to catch for smalls. Don't need tinies. It's really just larges for koi and arapaima, but I already have arapaima, so really the only thing I could possibly be looking for right now is a koi while I wait for the time to shift. Imagine if I had Koi early, I would just be standing at the ocean. Stand at Koi early a lot. That trend will end someday. And it will hurt. Koi's one of the worst fish in the game to get in January. Of course, they put, why did they put sea bass in September in this version? I hate it. All right, no rain. It's okay. Actually, I didn't get rain yet this run in a time period that allows for, um, whatever. Not worth it. I have to predict which side of the break it'll be on because it's because the maybe it's more common to spawn the other side. 
What was I talking about? I don't remember anymore. And now it's spawning on the other side, other, other, other side. There's nothing to catch here. I have everything in the ocean except sea can Oh, come on. Don't just go to the other side of the river I'm on. Stupid salmon. Why is it doing this? And it's gonna be a sea bass again, because why did they put sea bass in September? They really ruined September. By adding sea bass, they made barred knife shots terrible. Alright. I'll stop complaining. Alright. Coelacanth is the only fish left in the split. Damn. <laughs> Come on, early koi. Just give it a shot. Oh, wait. Yeah, I wasn't wrong earlier. Dace is just 10% in January. There's no reason not to get it there at all. Why am I on the side of the river? Doing absolute pot shots for Koi for no reason. It's not gonna happen. I'm wasting time. I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay, so we need it to rain. And then we need Coelacanth to five bite for me. That's all. And every time it doesn't, I have to run back home. Good fun. Rain, 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 rain. Ooh. I need to remember to add this back into my other notes. I always do this with this game. I run a new category, I come up with some new, like, routing idea, like dates in January just being optimal and what you go for every time. And then... I go back to running a category I used to run, like, all tools or something, and I don't add that change in, because that change is just gonna be the same in every category. Every category should get dates in January. That catches fish. Why would you ever catch it in a month where it's being buried in other fish when it you could be a 10% and the only good fish of its no reason not to all right I need to go this side of the river all right so the important thing with coelacanth is it's once per play session and that means if you get it in the lighthouse area and it's on the wrong side of the river you have to save and quit does that make sense so I'm gonna go left here and then down I'm not going to go into that lighthouse. I'm not going to have it spawning over there. It's 25% in E+. Plus, uh, in this month and this time. At least according to that newfangled chart. They, they made it more common. They really did. It feels like it's 50-50. <laughs> uh, usually. Uh, it's just they, they made it they made it more common which is great because they also made it uh, you have to save and quit every time you miss the catch and they made it possible to react to there's no way I already used this play sessions right I mean it doesn't make any sense I didn't go toward the ocean at all until I started this fishing segment yeah, there it is yeah five biter only they made it huge too instead of just being very large Aeropima size. Hey, that 
that's a pretty good. Nice five biter, nice and quick one. The game owed me for that barred knife drop bullshit, so I mean, I guess I'll cash in there. Again, why am I running up this way? So you're not last on the leaderboard in terms of gameplay, it's just you took a 10 minute break mid-run. Yeah, you did get scammed. You know, I think I've moved Dace into January before on past versions of Split Notes, but it didn't filter its way down to this Split Notes. I wonder what, what category I was running. It was probably Net and Rod only. Because I think I did like two or three runs of net and rod only after my um my illegitimate world record in uh where I used debug menu for golden tools. I think I did net and rod for like two or three sessions after that. And that's probably when I realized days should be in January and it just never made it into other route notes. Eh, I mean, I didn't explain myself very well. Debug menu doesn't remove RNG from the game. Oh shoot, forgot to drop these. So it lets you know if a gold tree will, if a tree will grow in the gold spot. And people were like, that seems like you're knowing something that's random. It's not random. It's the same every time you get that specific acre. So you could, theoretically, map out every acre and know which spots on which acres will grow trees. So it's not actually removing any randomness from the game. It's the same as when Brian did turnips with an external program based on the items that are in Nook's shop, using that to know turnip luck. That's the same as debug menu in all golden tools, and it was allowed. You can you can look at you can look at the items that are in Nook shop and use it to determine turn up RNG. That should totally be allowed. It's in the game, like because you could you could the the logic why that was allowed is because you can theoretically you could just have a dictionary, a printed paper version of every possible configuration of uh, items in Nook Shop. Oh, I didn't sell the last spring metal. It's gonna screw up my stuff. It's in... Hmm. So by that logic, they allowed using an external program instead of having to look, it, that helps you look it up faster rather than having like a book you sift through. And it's the same way I used an axe. Uh, I used a program for golden axe. That's totally allowed. But then debug menu isn't allowed. Because it removes luck from the game, even though it doesn't. There wasn't a good reason for it. I just didn't explain it very well. And also nobody cared. That, that's the biggest reason why uh, my run wasn't accepted.
that that was a huge no one gives a shit moment, which happens relatively frequently in <laughs> Animal Crossing speedrunning world. All right, I really screwed up the buying and selling junk there. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, you're not using them for the same purposes. Like debug menu tells you whether a tree would grow or not. It seems like. If you don't know how the acres work with growing trees, it seems like you're removing luck from the game. But you're not. Yeah, this is really slow. But I don't really mind. I, eventually I'll redo that run. With, uh, just resetting if my sapling doesn't grow just resetting a ton it's terrible but uh, it's the rules I think I would be that picky because my, my my PB my like fraudulent PB is actually really good it beats the current world record by 20 minutes it's a good run it would be really hard for anyone to beat it and so I think I would need to reset the second my gold tree doesn't grow if I'm not using debug menu it's kind of sad but oh well. I mean, it wasn't like, was it that good of a run? I don't remember. I feel like the axe segment lost like a minute. But I think it had like no longer than five minute fish. And that's why it was a good run. Everything was like three or four minutes of looking for the 1% fish. And that's just enough to make it a world record for categories unoptimized is all golden tools. I forgot my table. It's like the same category as this, except you have to use, uh, you have to get perfect town. That's part of it, the difference. There's my dace right there, perfect. Oh, right. Picking up fish. Or picking up things. My pockets are now empty, so I can get trash. Um. Is this a large bass? I hate this game sometimes. Large bass are 1%, same as koi in this month. It totally is! This thing's blinder than... Oh, God. Yeah, the, you hate to see the January large bass. It's same odds as koi. You hate to see that. It's so annoying. I've gotten like four or five large bass before while looking for koi. Like that is frustrating. It's a medium, isn't it? Oh, it's yes, it is. All right. Just in case I hadn't got the dace last time, I gotta get it again. Right now, I'm looking for snowballs to do snowball glitch with. It's the only way to make swordfish bearable is to fish on the ocean. I can also get dab here if I see a large shadow. And I'm filling pockets with seashells so that I don't catch trash as I both look for dabs and look for the snowball. Let's make sure it's not like up and around. Yeah, it's not. I just scared away a fish. Eh, it was, eh. The splash that was caused by me scaring away the fish looked pretty small. It was probably a medium. I think this is a large. No, this is a medium, isn't it? Uh, I always get confused in January. Yeah, I don't care. It wasn't the right size. I always get confused in January for some reason. 
or whatever month it is. Winter. I always get confused during the winter split. So I, it, I, so many larges with no tinies and mediums. Aren't mediums like 80% of the fish in January? <laughs> Supposed to be. So optimally I want the snowball to be like down here. The worst is when both snowballs are at the northern half of the island, of the, of the town. Alright. When both snowballs are at the far north, uh, you have to push them down the slopes and they almost always break apart by the time you get them to the bottom of the slope. Pond smelt, koi, string fish. Dab. Can you just not have a snowball? Yeah, well then I'd have to fish for island fish on the island with feet on the ground on the island and uh, fish spawn in uncatchable locations almost always. Uh, and the acre flipping is incredibly slow. It's mainly the fact that fish spawn in places you can't catch them 95% of the time on the island that makes it uh... No, you always have two snowballs. Every save and quit is two snowballs, so if I kill them both, I just save and quit. You really want them to be bottom layer, and I've pretty much checked the whole bottom layer now. They've got to be up top side somewhere. It's possible to get them down the slope without breaking, it's just... Uncommon. Uncommon enough that I might just not even go for it. And if there's not one around. Wow, two cats just staring at me. What the heck? Yeah, like this slope, would it even make sense? Oh, baby, I'm so stupid. Oh, that's upsetting. Straight into the water. All right. Try again. That was dumb. It was in a weird spot to be fair. I don't know how I could have saved it from... It was like butt up against the water. Hey, at least I didn't get trash yet. Oh, 11 minutes into the split and I haven't gotten to the island yet. That's actually really bad. This is a terrible split. I don't think I'm gonna PB. I need time to catch koi, string fish, and swordfish. My PB is... I'll start comparing to PB now. It makes sense at this point. 236, yeah. Not looking... I mean, eh, I mean, I guess it's... I guess I can PB with this. Oh my god, same spot? Is that a thing? Are they always same spot? I just like this. I don't. I'm not having fun. Oh, does the save and quit mean same spots? I've never thought of that or noticed it. All right, well, we're good now. Oh my god, did I just kill it? No. <laughs> I heard a really strange sound that I'm not used to hearing there for a moment. All right, this thing's getting unmanageably large. Let's get this over some dirt. Okay. Just wonder how south I am. This thing's way too big. Okay. It gets bigger on snow, it gets smaller on other surfaces. That's why I'm pushing it across the pavement and across this junk. Alright. I don't think this is too large. This is probably fine. that there for now. Unfortunately you have to load the island in order to snowball glitch to walk to it. If you don't do this the game crashes as soon as you get near the island on the water. So that's why I have to do the all debts and I have to ride to the island or ride back. This actually takes a long time. Like the whole getting a snowball here, getting a snowball to the edge of the town and riding Cap'n there and back is like, it's such a time sink, but it's worth it for the consistency of, I can catch blue marlin or swordfish, whatever it's called. Because it takes me on average five tries of getting the 1% fish. Like <laughs> I need a five biter. And they spawn out of bounds more often than they spawn in bounds. Like out of bounds meaning 
inaccessible from anywhere but standing on the water. They were really... I think if they had made E+, plus, if they made the island spawns work, this would be a much better game. Like already, the fact that there are three fish that I can't catch without... Look at that. that, see that fish there? That fish is gone. This is what they do. When they go outside of their like safe zone, they just swim up. No way you're catching that thing from the, anywhere. That's what I mean when I say they spawn in uncatchable locations more than half the time. That's what that looks like. So this acres fish is already gone. And I have to um, go back and forth once to... to get Cap'n to turn around. Alright, I already have Sea Force. And Squid and Horse Mackerel. I need Pufferfish. I need dabs still, I didn't catch it on the beach. That's a small, that's not it. Yeah, I need to acre flip once to get Captain to turn his boat around. So the two island exclusive fish are Pufferfish and Swordfish. Pufferfish is a medium, 12%. It comes up pretty easy. And swordfish is, you know, 1%. Huge. It's the same size as Seelacanth and Arapaima, and it, again, requires inhuman reaction time, or at the very least, 166 milliseconds, which is better than my reaction time. You can't catch the fish that are out here where Cap'n is. They don't have a biting AI. They won't ever go after the bo bobber. See, if you see a swordfish spawn out here, it's not real. Also, there's a chance that this fish is the fish that sailed, that like flew off northward. You can sometimes chase fish backwards, like, um, like it starts swimming up. I've had I've had um, swordfish before, where it it before I started doing snowball glitch, uh, it would swim up, and I would be able to um, I would be able to just talk to Captain and quickly go back to my town and catch it on the shore. That works, but it's so much better to not have them swim up. No reason to do that to yourself. Yeah, it's uh, coelacanth and aeropyma size. It's impossible to miss. See how every time I pick it up, the snowball like moves towards me a little bit. I like nudge it forwards. That's how you do snowball glitch. Eventually, it'll cross the uh, hill and roll. There you go. Alright, that would crash if I hadn't already been to the island. Alright, I do need dab still. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, the hard part is getting a snowball there. It's RNG. And oftentimes just very stupid. Alright, I need a medium and a large. The medium's Pufferfish, the largest dab. And whatever fish was here already swam away. Yep, it's gone. Hello? Oh, hello. Dab, pufferfish, swordfish. There's dab. All right, pufferfish, swordfish. The two island exclusives are all that's left. I already got seahorse. Already got squid. Already got mackerel. Already got octopus. Already got all flounder. Already got dab. Sea bass is good. Snapper is good. 
Bard knife jaw. <laughs> yeah, I got one of those. Okay, all that's left is swordfish. And then I can just get back to town and do koi stringfish fun session. Normal raw junk. See how fast the acre flipping is here? Like, you cannot do this while standing on the island. <laughs> it's just so good. Even without the fact that fish spawn out of bounds, you get so many repetitions so quickly. Oh, wow. Whatever it was, swam away. Huh. Yeah, it's just, it, even if they weren't spawning out of bounds, I think this would be optimal just because of how fast. How dang fast you can roll these acres. It makes up in my mind for the fact that I had to push a snowball from the bottom of the slope to Cap'n and then ride Cap'n. Well, I mean, if you didn't do snowball glitch, you would still have to ride there and back. So really the only time loss of snowball glitch is getting the snowball in position, which can be terrible or it could be fine. Again, that fish there is not catchable. The ones that are in the acres outside of the island. Yeah, even if even if fish spawn worked, I think this would be the optimal way to get swordfish. It's just so fast. It's cool that this glitch is actually used in a what I think to be optimal route. It used to just be a meme. There was a there was a category extension before they for some reason took all of those away. I don't really know what the purpose of deleting all the I guess it wasn't a category extension, it was the miscellaneous tab. I don't really know why they deleted every miscellaneous tab run. But anyway, there used to be a category called um, Island Tan. It was just um, load up the game, walk to the island in the GameCube version, or the uh, Amer uh, North American version. Snowball glitch right after you spawn in and then uh, walk to the island and wait for 10 minutes until you get tan. That was the, that was the entire category. Two minute long snowball glitch and then 30 minutes or however long it takes to get fully tan. Terrible category. I still don't really get why at some point someone decided that we didn't need any of the categories that were miscellaneous anymore. It just limits the amount of information people know about the game. Like, some people won't know that this glitch exists, and like, this route wouldn't have come about if I hadn't heard someone talking about Island Tan after the... well after it was deleted. You know what I mean? Don't really get it. I mean, nobody cares is, I think, the... Only logic, and some people might care someday about random Animal Crossing junk. I have fun coming up with the routes for stuff. It's not like this category is that. This category is kind of interesting, but oh god. They really made Bard Knife Jaw, Coelacanth terrible. Like, I think Bard Knife Jaw is the main reason why this isn't gonna get world record. It took like 20 minutes. why they did that. It's definitely not as good of a speed run as it's got interesting things. And I I want to get world record with it just because I routed it and I feel like the route's better than what was being done before. I feel that way at least. But it's still a safe route. I mean I could go for like, you know, requiring koi early and junk. You can do risky routes. This is definitely not that. Save that for Animal Crossing rod runs. 
I've also considered making a really risky Animal Crossing rod route and then like trying to get world record in it. I've thought of that before, but it would be so terrible. The route idea in my head would like require early Arapaima and Piranha or and Angelfish or Reset. Like that would basically be the route, quote unquote route. It would just be fishing up larges early looking for a koi and resetting if you catch a million garbage fish, which would happen 95% of the time because koi is not very easy to get in months outside. It would be like the opposite of a safe and consistent route. It would be a trying to catch early everything as early as is literally possible just for the sake of one out of these times you'll actually get these things early and have a world record competitive run. Like just YOLOing everything. But the only reason I wouldn't like put thought into a route like that, well A, I mean I don't think it would be very hard to route, like uh, it would just be catch everything early. I think it would be a little bit more nuanced than that, like I can probably come up with things. That would be good ideas of when to do this early, when to do that early. Like, I feel like it would be possible to come up with something. But even then, it wouldn't be that good for a route, just because... And you have to get Stringfish anyway. I guess the real thing about a, a reroute for trying to get world record would be you can just cut the, uh... If you get, if you get Coelacanth and... Arapaima and Piranha early, then you just do Jellyfish, Salmon, and walk back. Like, that's such a fast split, you know? If you get everything in the entire game early. You could almost not have to do that split. And I mean, I've had that happen before in runs. My, my gold in Rod, I think it's my net and Rod run. Or my gold for that split is like three minutes. It happens. And I think that's every thought I've ever had about anything. <laughs> oh, also, I wanna... Maybe it's someday I'll... I'll do a N64 fishing run with, like, a good route. I don't think anyone's really done that before. The N64 just version... It doesn't have any pond fish, but that doesn't really affect the run at all. It doesn't have Arapaima. Well, that's just one less 1% to go to, to get. That doesn't affect the route at all. And then it cuts every ocean fish except for Coelacanth. And that just means you, do, you can load straight into September instead of doing August 31st. Um... And it also means if it's raining, you can catch coelacanth pretty commonly because there's no other fish to block it. It's not 100%, but it's it's got some sort of fixed spawn rate. I should f also figure out what the fixed spawn rate for coelacanth in the N64 version is. See if it changes by month or date and time. I don't think it should. It should just be static all year. I mean, they didn't add fish into the ocean. I don't know why it would be changing. But there's no reason why that route should be so different than the GameCube versions. And there's no reason why the world record should be two and a half hours. Maybe someday. I mean, I can read Japanese well enough to do chores. That might be a bit of a barrier for people to run the N64 and running just still with Sonori Plus. It's the fact that they give you villager names in Japanese and you may or may not be able to read fast enough to know what they said while mashing text quickly. You know, I mean, I doubt people have really cared about that. And those two games don't have any Nook codes, so it's not like you'd have to type Japanese Nook codes. That's just this game. Which sucks, honestly. I should learn the should learn the codes instead of just reading them off a sheet every time. It's so slow, I have to keep looking back and forth. 
Every character I type, I look back at my notes. And I missed one this time, too. Alright, swordfish. Any day now. That's the thing about this game, is no matter what you do, 1% fish are rare. No amount of rerouting is going to change that. I've been looking for swordfish for 15 minutes. It is not that I kept getting swordfish spawning out of bounds. It is not that I kept getting swordfish one-biting me. I just haven't gotten a swordfish. And that's this game. That is that is rod. It just happens. That's fishing in Animal Crossing. Nothing's guaranteed. There's no, oh, if I don't get it in 50 tries, I'll get it then. No, I mean, it could just not come for an hour. I've had it happen many times with 1% fish. Pushing 40, 50 minutes. I like, I like under 20 <laughs> as being like an average. This has definitely been, I think I got to the island around 16 minutes in. I did spend some time looking for dab and uh, puffer fish, but I've kind of just been rolling. <clears throat> and the other thing is, this is about max speed for any acre flip spot in the entire game. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh hey, five butter. Okay. Well, world record is what, a twenty twenty six, maybe? Suddenly we're back in business. Didn't expect that really. Oh there's the other one. The other snowball. It was right up over by the bridge. Maybe it wasn't there the first time I looked. And there's pond small. Two fish left. Coins, string fish, as always. Some things never change. And this is one of them. AC rod runs will end with koi and string fish every time. This side of the river I like to be on for fishing, right? Yeah, I do. Yep, and it's closer to the houses. Okay. Oh, I hate I hate acres like this in the snow. Mm, maybe I move acres, because that's that blocks a lot of vision. I forgot how bad it is sometimes. Hello. I forgot how bad snow blocks vision in trees, in like, your tree river spots. It's a medium maybe? No, it's a large, right? No, it's a medium. All right, ten minutes to get coin sword, uh, coin, uh, whatever for world record. Not un, not impossible. Koi string fish, quick ones. I've definitely gotten them both in five minutes before. It's not impossible. A little bit unlikely. Oh my god, is this a second large bass in winter? I would cry. 
No, it's not. Stringfish is my nemesis though. Koi is like objectively one of the hardest fish in the game to catch based on like its properties of, uh, you know, it blends into a bunch of other common fish every single place you could possibly catch it in. It's a 1% that has a five and a three and another 1% of the same size. So it's like not that, that puts it up on angelfish tier of it'll, you'll catch a million fish just like it. I don't like this, I don't like this. I do not want to miss the catch on this thing. Okay. Oh my god, dude. These E plus windows are going to make me cry one more time this run. Gonna be trying to catch a string fish. You blind ass bitch, just get on there. Okay. Koi. What I was about to say is, even though koi is up there with string or with um, angelfish for, uh, it's a one percent that's always being hidden by other fish. Sure, but. I've always had stringfish as my nemesis. I've had stringfish take 40 minutes m more than any other fish in the game. Not like a percent thing, but just like oh, this fish is. Oh, that's a world recce, isn't it? A little bit of a world record. Hmm. Hmm. A little bit of a world record here. Nothing major. Hey oh hey. Let's see compared to my route PB. Yeah, 30 minutes ahead. That's nice. I did not expect this run to come back like this after the 30 minute bar knife jaw or whatever. Mm. Well, there you go. Let's see, how long was the bard knife jaw split compared to compared to like best oh my god yeah uh, oh look at that that's terrible oh it's plus 18 to plus 41 okay i thought it said minus 18 to plus 41 i was like oh was it that bad i don't remember being that bad it's what 23 minutes off lost like 20 minutes to bard knife jaw Oh, good enough for uh, getting carried by the route. 